Hello and welcome to another haul. Um, this one has been sat here for a week, this box. And I need to get it processed. And I haven't even logged it on my spreadsheet yet, so I'm quite disgraced with myself. So, jumping straight in. <laughs> jumping straight in. There's too many people say that and then don't jump in. So let's jump in. I have got a Woz Jig. Jig Sola. This one's just a 500 piece, so I might well do this one first. You know, I'm not cheap, like I said that I was going to do. Not cheap. And do it properly. Yes, so hopefully um, I'll be doing that soon because I'm getting right sick of working and chasing the tail with things i have got some really good bits in here um stuff which i haven't picked up before so this is the first thing brand that i haven't found before which other people rave about marameco marameco now if you find marameco you're hoping that that bit isn't there but mine says uniqlo <laughs> it stands to reason there's lots of uniqlo you know up up to up to north and that's where i am it's um, I don't know what I'm going to get for that. Probably about 20 25 because the Uniqlo, £2.50, that's a good buy. It's XL. It's big. It's what we waited for. Okay. And so obviously this is uh, two charity shops because this was... I went on Wednesday because, I, you know... I would have been so successful on the Tuesday that I went to the other one that I didn't have any, I couldn't physically get to the other one. But then I did really well yesterday, I mean on Tuesday, the other Tuesday, because this was like a week and a half ago. Um, now this, I was actually quite surprised. I bought this just thinking, yeah, it's just a nice t-shirt. Uh, £2.50, Machino. And to my surprise... This, they got a lot of flack for the collection that they had with the pills on it. Um, I'm always a bit, con you know, concerned about whether the machine, you know, is fake or not. This isn't fake. I've checked it. Um, there's no like for likes for this. I have, when, I, when I say I've checked it, and then there's no like for likes, I've checked the care labels are genuine. Somebody has got one of these for sale in America and they're asking of £150. Um, probably a bit far-fetched. Um, I can't see me getting 100 I might just put it on for 50 I mean, it's a t-shirt, isn't it? 50, 50 is about the, you know... That's about what you get for a, a t-shirt, I think, to be honest. But anyway... Quite pleased with that. Um, what have we got here? I can't remember why I've picked this up. This was £2.50. There was a few things which, you know, it seemed quite nice, which I didn't get. I can see why I've got this. This needs to go in the wash, I think. I've got a whole load of coats waiting to go in, but I didn't want to put it on because people who start filming YouTube videos with the washing machine blasting away you know those people need a good seeing to you know with a sword so this is zara i am not one for picking up zara however as you can see it's faux leather button up dress it's got pockets it's there's nothing to dislike about it it looks like it might actually be new um, so for £2.50, I thought, well, I can at least get 20, if not 25 out of that. So, yeah, I picked that up. Um, sizing is medium. Yeah, that should be quite good. I mean, it's Halloween, isn't it, coming up? People, you know, need to dress bizarre. And, you know, I, 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 might, I might wear that myself. It, but... It won't suit me, but it'll be too tight on the arms because I don't exercise enough. So quite happy with that. 
Um, this is another brand that people absolutely rave about. Um, it's my first time finding it. Um, Sweaty Betty. Um, but this is like some random linen top. So I don't know how well this is actually going to be. And going to do. I mean, is it a base layer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh no, it's not linen. It's silk. It feels more like linen than silk, but there you go, silk and viscose. Um, I don't know how well that's going to go, and I don't really know anything about Sweaty Betty. It's got a, an embellishment as well. Um, £2.50 I've paid for that. So, you know, we'll see. Right, this is going in the wash because it just feels dirty. I don't even want to handle it. Oh, I think it might be vintage, vintage. So it's um, Fred Perry, made in England. Some of these have not been doing too well for me. I used to do really well with Fred Perry, but not so, so much lately. It can't be vintage because that's not vintage. So why on earth are they? is it made in England? Right, so that one's going in the wash. It smells humming. What are these? Oh, right, so I've got something else, Uniqlo. Now these, these have got jizz on them. No, they've got chocolate on them. They seem pretty new and yet they've got stains on them. Um, yeah, just a pair of Uniqlo jeans, £1.50. Um, I don't think you can go wrong. Um, and look at the size of them as well. Where does it say the waist measurement? 38 waist, really quite big, um, <laughs> but they're short in the leg, uh, so they're going in the wash because they've got some weird arse stain on them that looks like chocolate. Um, I think that's everything that I got from that Bernardo's. And then the rest of this is from Cancer Research. Um, another one of these NW3 dresses, which I've just put one on, I've got no interest, um, summer is over. <laughs> uh, yeah, quite a nice blue floral thing, hopefully 20, I don't know, I probably should be pricing some of my dress, my summery type dresses more like 20 rather than 25, you should get more for that. Oh, I don't remember getting this. So this is, I spent three pounds on that and it's a decent jumper, um, fat face. It's one of the older labels, I think. Um, but yeah, that should get me 20. Another fat face thing here. A raggedy blouse. It says size 12, but you know, it's gonna be a bit tight. Um, yeah, I, I would think I'm probably only going to get £12.99 for that. It's a bit of a rag, really. Oh, now, something that isn't a rag is this. This came out on a new rail at the time. And I just thought, wow, I'm going to have that. Wow, it just looks really nice. I didn't even look at the branding on it. It's got no branding on the neck. But it's a really nice... I feel like I should put this on the mannequin to show it off properly. So it's 100% silk. And I just thought, wow, it's so nice. It's got um, asymmetrical buttoning that goes down to the side. And a really cool print. Upon getting it home and looking it up, um, the web, there's not many examples of this. There's two kimonos by this brand which are on. Um, one sold for 50 and one sold for 120 or something like that. Um, no blouses like this. Um, lots of snow pants um, for some reason. So I just thought, oh, well, is this really this brand? So it's Maharashi, which is by Maharashi Hardy Bletchman. That's what the label looks like 
um, apparently this is a major bolo which I've got here very weird website with some very like unusual things one of the things that you can buy on their website is um, the bullet vests um, war correspondent bullet vests and they they go for uh, two two hundred and seventy pounds brand new this was weird you see that day because that day I actually found a BBC sport um, polo in the other charity shop I didn't buy it and bring it back but I I've always had an inkling that the news readers sport readers um, weather people are donating their clothes to these charity shops that I go to because I do find quite high-end stuff there so now I know I was right <laughs> Um, but anyway, back to this. I don't really know where to put this on. I'm probably going to be putting it on for about 100. There's no flaws in it. It's really nice. Thank thank goodness there's no flaws in it because it's um, obviously silk. But wow. I had no idea. I just thought oh, it's such nice condition. I'll just buy it anyway. Um, I've obviously taken the tag off. I think it was £3. Yeah, I mean three pounds into a hundred is not to be sniffed at yeah so look out for that okay now back to the boring stuff so i mean this is quite a good haul with the machino t-shirt and that maharashi thing <laughs> it's a really good haul um really basic jumper now is you know following you know, <laughs> it <laughs> in that blaze of glory it's just a manta ray but you know it's a nice snuggly jumper so better get 20 oh um this dress i relented on this because people keep going on about kim and co um i mentioned it in the, a previous haul um that i'd seen it there what is going on here oh it looks like it's had a bad time of it in the box Oh no, what have I done? Right, so it's lace. Why has it done that? Well, they've been trying to sell it for £7 at the other charity shop. Obviously, I've spent three on this. People swear by this. I mean, I don't think it's big money. I'm probably going to be putting this on. I might try it at 25 and see what happens because it is very nice. Um, there we are. I've sorted it out now. It's got a slip underneath, uh, obviously for modesty. So it is really nice. There weren't any stains on it. Um, so yeah, Kim and Co. And this is devoid of the sizing. It says large. I mean that's a bit crap, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So I'm going to give that a go. I'll try. I'll try it for twenty five. Um, hopefully get twenty. We will see. Um, so I've got a pair of jeans here that cost me £2. Just women's jeans. Again, seem to be devoid of the size label. What is going on? Oh, I'll tell you, the world is against me today. 88. What's 88 mean? It means nothing. It's a fat face anyway. Um, so I should better get 20 maybe 25 i don't know i don't even know what the sizing is on that <laughs> oh i don't remember picking this up but it's it's a good day <laughs> okay so um musto um i've picked musto off um many many moons ago and it sold really quickly and i only paid a pound for it and i was like really pleased i really i should really go back up that way you know maybe the people who have now started pricing everything really high at that one pound charity shop have been shot or has died of one of the various viruses that we have flying around so it's size 14 so obviously women's, I think men sell better with musto, but you know, it is just a quarter zip top, but musto is definitely worth it. I think it's one of these ones, doesn't it, where it has the crest, but not today. This was in menswear, so 
somebody had made a mistake there. They were rotating their stock, so maybe somebody would just rotated on an axle and didn't know what's going on. Um, what on earth is this? Oh, that's a, I've got a Sherpa style coat. I don't even remember picking any of this up. Um, yeah, so a Sherpa style coat with a hood which detaches. Um, I'm going to have to debobble all this out. I think I'm going to put this in the wash because I don't know. This says size 8, so I don't know why this was in with the menswear either. Um, but there you go. It's I, it, it might be a wax jacket, so I'm going to have to check whether I'm okay putting this in the machine. But I'm only going to do it on a mild hand wash. Yeah, it needs a wash. It needs a wash because it's just... It's not right. So it's only fat face, so I won't be getting like fat money for it. But you know, maybe twenty-five. I'm gonna price my coats decently this year so that I don't end up in a world of coats. Um yeah, it's quite shiny. I don't I don't know if it's waxed or not. I think that was the thing is that when I went there the other day they had a barber jacket here I am trying to read it in the language that is not mine um, and it wasn't even waxed and they were charging £50 for it which I don't even think is the eBay pricing for these things no it's just cotton and polyester but it just it's probably dirt then isn't it if it feels like it's waxed it's waxed with scum so i've just touched the scum should i touch you guys now best not right that's everything box is empty i'm gonna get all these bits processed now um i'm just gonna spend the day doing phot photography because everybody's whinging about ebay and this that and the other and something wrong with the photos and yeah i'm just gonna crack on with it and i've just I'm, I've, I've got another youtube video you know where i said we're in the same t-shirt because i've done them back to back I just wanted to do them separately because I have trouble uploading, well, rendering the videos. The moment I try and upload them, my computer starts getting excited and gets one cloud involved. And once one cloud's involved, it's really difficult. If you've got clips, it's just forget it. So I'm going to stop the video here before this one is a long one. And... I will be back with more of this type of jazz. So thank you for watching and goodbye.